Yo, what is up guys? I know a lot of people have been asking me to do a wall bounce video for mouse and keyboard. I know there's not that many videos out for it, so I decided to make one. In this video, I'm going to show you guys three different methods on how to bounce. One being the way I play. The second one is pretty simple. And the third one will be the easiest method to wall bounce. Keep in mind the third one, you could probably get banned since it's like a macro. So if you decide to use it, just be aware you could possibly get banned for it. And then you have this guy like, eh, what is he doing? Before I start on the tutorial, I do have a Twitch channel, MX Helios. I, even though I'm not part of MX, I don't feel like changing it since people already know me as MX Helios. And I sometimes stream. I don't have a consistent streaming schedule since I just stream whenever I'm comfortable in a way. In case you guys just want to see how I play I'll be showing the same cam how it is set up, showing my mouse and keyboard I'll have in my streams now. So if you guys would like, hit the follow button, it will really help me out. I'll leave the link to my Twitch in the description and on the comment section. Now let's get back to the video. So the first method that I use, so my keybind, it's literally all the default ones. I've been, I haven't changed anything other than the takeover, which is mouse wheel down and then secondary spacebar. The reason why I use spacebar as a secondary I'm already used to whenever I hit walls, I click space to up A. And uh, I don't really like scroll wheel as it doesn't take much skill. Even though I still use it in a way. So what I do is I just use mouse wheel down and just hold W. That's the way I bounce. I know it's not the fastest, but I really don't care about my movement on controller, on keyboard, I mean. Since I prefer to just land shots. But even though this is pretty fast in my opinion, even though this is kind of decent, obviously it's not the best bounce, but it's just something that I'm used to. Okay, second method on bouncing. The only difference basically is for the secondary, you do mouse wheel up. What that makes it do is no more space bar. And you just literally spam your mouse wheel up and down, like literally just spam it. And it does it for you. Like, it's so fucking broken. For your bounce to be more consistent, you just click A and D. Don't spam it as you will get stuck in one wall. For example, if I spam my mouse wheel up and down and A and D, this is how the bounce will look like. I will be getting stuck in one wall. Compared to if I click A and D like this. It would bounce pretty decent. The thing is you, you're not trying to spam A and D because you'll just get stuck in walls. I see a lot of new players who switch from controller to keyboard and use scroll wheel since it's the easiest way you could do it. That's why I don't like looking at bounce clips on keyboard and mouse since they technically don't take much skill. So what I'm doing now is just moving my mouse left and right and clicking A and B. And this bounce is pretty fast. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the third method. Keep in mind, the third method is considered cheating in a way since it's a macro. Even though you're using it just for a wall bounce, you could still probably get banned. I'm not sure. So just use this one at your own risk. If you have a gaming mouse, you should have a application for it. For example, mine has this one since it's a Model O. What you have to do is it should have a macro editor button. Click on that new macro. Just name it whatever you want. For example, I could just name this one wall bounce. I click on OK. Then you click on start recording. Just click whichever key you feel comfortable with. For example, I'm going to use hyphen. Then just click on stop recording. It should be 63 milliseconds or 62. Doesn't matter. Double click on it. Then just click one. Then OK. Then change where it says cycle until key released. What that makes it is you could hold it and it will keep on repeating the same action. So once we have that up, you could just exit out from here. Now all you have to do is change whichever button you want for that specific macro. For example, I'm going to use number four. Then you just click on macro, wall bounce, OK, then apply. 
Now you go back into your game, go to options, key bindings, take over mantle, go click on hyphen. You could exit from here. Then just click on the button you changed from your mouse. All you have to do is hold it and it wall bounces for you. Try not spamming A and D as you'll get stuck. You're gonna have to time it perfectly. Obviously, it's in a bit of practice if you're new to mouse and keyboard, but once you get it done, you should be good. One thing that sucks about the macro and the scroll wheel, you can't really control when you jump over cover since it's like repeating an act, like since it's repeating the bounce. I know a lot of keyboard and mouse players who use a macro to wall bounce, but they keep on hiding it, but it's so obvious to tell. And this is the reason why I me personally don't like seeing wall bounce clips on keyboard and mouse since it technically takes no skill. Because you could literally bounce like a crackhead. <laughs> Hopefully you guys like the tutorial. I really want to branch out to different things other than montaging in my channel. So whatever you guys would like to see type of game modes, challenges, leave them down in the description and I'll try to do them and see if those go well or not.